Say it like a girl. Say, pee, go pee on the rocks. Go pee on the rocks. <laughs> no. You know it's true. Today I wanted to share 10 things you may not know about me. Let me just tell you. Number one, I always wanted to be an actress growing up. Did you know I really wanted to be an actress? Yeah. Like I wanted to be on stage and be like, I'm an actress. Owen, I'm trying to practice my monologue for my acting career. I'm trying to practice my monologue. You're not? Yeah, I'm gonna be a famous actress one day. But why? But why? Why? <laughs> Did you know I can cry on demand? Romeo, oh Romeo, where for art thou Romeo? Romeo, where are you? <laughs> I can also laugh on demand. In college, I took a couple courses. It's funny how I can say in college because I actually only went to two semesters of college. So does that even really count as going to college? My whole plan was to major in theater arts and to minor in communications. I totally wanted to be an actress. I was gonna move to LA and pursue an acting career. So instead of that, I am pursuing my acting career on YouTube. Oh my gosh, I'm totally a YouTube actress. Fulfilling my dream here, guys, fulfilling my dream. I really don't like it when people touch my elbows. Do what? not touch my elbows. Why? Don't touch it. Hey. <laughs> I said don't touch my elbows. Oh! I said don't touch my elbows! I have a real reason behind it, okay? There's something wrong with my elbows. I swear there's something wrong with my elbows. Ow! <laughs> Then don't touch my elbows. <laughs> I think there's like some exposed nerves or something around here because anytime people touch this spot in my elbow, I do not like people to touch my elbows. Don't touch them, I said. It's like hitting your funny bone. You know when you hit your funny bone and you feel this huge zing. So don't touch my elbows. Number three, I've moved over 25 times growing up. People always ask me why and I really don't know why. My parents just like to move, I guess. So we lived all over the place. I got to live in Hawaii, which brings me to number four. I lived in a tent for six months in Hawaii. Did you know I lived in a tent? Mm. On a macadamia nut farm? Did you live scared? Yeah, I was scared. Mommy! What, honey? I need to go to the bathroom. Go pee on the rocks, honey. Oh, again? <laughs> Mother, mother, mommy, I had a bad dream. And it was awesome. I mean, as a child living in a tent, I thought it was pretty cool. My parents' goal was to build a house someday, but that never happened. I had this huge tent that was like the storage of all of our furniture and stuff. So I just remember this big, huge round tent that was just full of all of our stuff. And then the little part in the front was like our living room. So there was like a rug and some chairs and stuff. And so, and then the bedrooms were the tents. And then we had this little shack that my dad built, I think. And that was the kitchen. Had like a stove, I think, I don't know. And I remember taking baths in our kiddie pool with hose water. It was an adventure. So I guess you could say at one point we were homeless. <laughs> but we lived in tents and that was pretty awesome. And now I get to say that I used to live in a tent, so thanks mom. Number five, I speak German fluently. I served an LDS mission when I was 21 and lived in Germany for 18 months. It's been a lot of years since I've had many opportunities to speak in German, so I'm sure I can still speak it and communicate, but I'm not as good as I once was. Did you know I can speak German fluently? No. Hör auf, auf mich herum zu hacken. Ich kann Deutsch sprechen. Kannst du mir verstehen? Yes. Verstehst du, was ich sage? No. Du kannst mir verstehen? No. Ich habe das nicht gewusst, dass du Deutsch auch kannst. Also, ich war in Deutschland für 18 Monate. Deswegen habe ich die Sprache gelernt. Ich glaube, dass ich immer noch Deutsch sprechen kann. Sitze kleine Wanze, sieh einmal die Wanze an. Did you know? that I have never broken a bone. Never yeah, broke any yeah, bones, no. Yeah, yeah, I never yeah, broke yeah, any bones. Yeah, I never had to get yeah, stitches, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Number seven, 
this is really random, totally random, but I remember when I think I was pregnant with my first and one of my friends was like, let's do the ring test. Have, it, have any of you heard of the ring test? Where you basically tie your wedding ring on a piece of floss and then you put it over your wrist and then I, I think something about like, if it goes, I don't know, Google it, but basically there's a way, I think it's accurate based on your body's energy. So I'm not sure if I 100% believe it, but I kind of see how it could be true. But for me, it was totally true. It said that I would have a girl, I would have a girl, a boy, a girl, a boy, and then the fifth one was like we weren't sure, but we were just kind of like, oh well. So it's kind of crazy because it happened exactly the way the ring test said it would. I had girl boy, girl boy, and now we are trying to conceive baby number five. So that was the, maybe my body was like, knew that this would be like a confusing <laughs> stage, not knowing if I was gonna have a fifth child or not. So it's crazy, but it totally was true. Number eight, I got engaged to my husband after only one week. It was like our second date and we pretty much decided we were getting married. Three months later, we were married. And I really wanna share more details of the whole story on our podcast one day, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna be on the podcast. Me and Sean will tell you all the details. It's kind of funny. But look at us, we're almost 14 years in and we're still married, so. Did you know on my second date with daddy, we decided we were gonna get married? Nope. And then like three months later, we were totally married. No. Nope. Did you even know that? No. Nope. It's crazy, right? Yeah. Like who does that? Who gets married after only three months of knowing somebody? Who does that? I don't know. Crazy people, right? Number nine, I've been to the top of the lion's back in Moab. Also Google that if you don't know what it is, but it's very dangerous and I cannot believe that I did this. You drive up it. I went with a bunch of friends. It was back in the time of my life where <laughs> I was experimenting with alcohol and I was hanging out with a lot of people that were drinking and the driver had been drinking and we drove up the lion's back. I went to the top of the lion's back. Did you know that? Yeah. You know that cool place in Moab? Yeah. It's like really huge. And this big huge rock and like people drive up in. It's like really insane and then like people die on it. Did you know I went on the top of that? Yeah. And I didn't even die. Yeah. I'm still alive. Yeah. I let a drunk person drive me to the top of the lion's back. I definitely had some guardian angels when I went through my teenage years because I literally should not be alive. There's so many things that I did that were crazy and stupid, not safe, not smart, and somehow I managed to survive. And the only explanation is that God had a lot of things in store for me and he needed me to fulfill them. So that's what I am determined to do because there's a reason why I'm still here. Number 10, my total claim to fame is that I met Will I Am from the Black Eyed Peas. Um, let's see, it was probably like 20 years ago. I can't believe I can say 20 years ago. Almost 20 years ago, I met Will I Am and it was before he was even like famous. So the whole Black Eyed Peas were the opening act for Macy Gray and it was a little outdoor concert in Arizona and um, I just remember I was with, there with all my friends and Will came down, just started hanging out with us and dancing with us and we just thought it was so cool. And so now I'm famous because I met him. Like seriously, I'm like totally famous now. Did you know that I met Will I Am from the Black Eyed Peas? You didn't even know that your mom was famous, right? Do you want my autograph? Uh, what? Do you want my autograph? Uh, what autograph? Like I sign my name and then you can have it and it's like worth a lot of money. How? Like just cause I'm famous now because I met Will I Am. So anyway, <laughs> those are 10 random facts about me. I would love to get to know you guys a little bit better, so please comment below sharing one random fact about yourself. I love getting to know you guys, so thank you. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, 
I have a podcast. I'm sure a lot of you know by now because I'm like announcing it like crazy all over social media that I have a podcast now. So if you search on iTunes for Wannabe Balanced, you'll find me. And I'm going to be recording the eighth episode tomorrow with Sean. We're going to share our success story, our business success story, and how we made our first million at age 27. So I'm excited to share the whole story and all the details of how that came about. Thanks you guys for watching. I'll see you next week. And I had to take a bath in my little kiddie pool. You are a kiddie pool? Yeah, I had a kiddie pool. Wait, you're not a kiddie. I'm not a kiddie. I'm a kitty. Yeah, I I am a kitty. No, you're not. No. Kitty doesn't like pools. That's right, they don't like pools. They hate water. Ba, 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 ba.